Yeah, I want to go over this subject real briefly because it's uh, confusing and there's a lot of conflicting information out there. This is actually the magnet. This book is actually hard to find. It's out of print. It's a rare book. It was expensive to get it used. I got it a while ago. The Magnetic Effect by Albert Roy Davis and Walter C. Rawls. It's the only one actually printed in the United States. They were the first ones on the forefront of finding out. The effects of using the north and side, south side of the magnets, they were taking work from the Russians and the Russians were using work with magnets and coming up with what the benefits are, but they were not taking into consideration the north or south side of the magnets. Now, the next video I might do is on natural sex boosters, but we'll see about that. It's probably more interesting than this. I'm going to go over this real briefly. Um, this actually... There's an error in this book, actually, I saw, and <laughs> first I didn't realize it was an error. Basically, it was talking about finding the north and south pole of the magnet. Now, the confusing part about the finding the north and south pole of the magnet is, actually, the north pole is magnetized south. And with a devoid confusion to people, they said that the north side of the magnet seeks the north pole of a magnet itself like placed in water like if you had a little bar magnet that can float or something it would seek the north pole because opposites attract um, so the red pointer on a compass actually that points to the north point pole is magnetized north on a compass and the north pole is actually magnetized south they got this backwards on here. They actually state that um, if you string a magnet up on a string, the south pole of the magnet will point to the north pole. Eh, wrong. But <laughs> you're supposed to trust everything else in this book. I don't know. But I, I could say there's other other ones around here that agree with. Well, they they goofed up that explanation. I should have had it the other way around. Could have happened when they put it in print. But um, what they talk about it with the South Pole, the South Pole is positive electrons. So that's their positive, right? North Pole is negative, okay? Negative electrons. And normally you want to use the North Pole pretty much for 98% of the stuff that you use it for because the South Pole will cause indiscriminate growth. That's the problem with it. Now, um, the other thing is... Um, they found it like the Russians, they were using it on water, and they weren't using it with any um, regard to north or south. And this is Rawls and Davis, Davis, whatever his name is, Davis and Rawls, I guess it is. Davis and Rawls, they actually wanted to find out what's the better side to use for water, so they actually used, they found out the, the negative side is the better side. That is also per Holder Clark. And they also mention in here, like for instance, if you give an example, if you have a sore throat, if you have a mild form of infection, the North Pole is the best to use if you have a mild form of infection on the throat. If you have a weak throat where no cold or infection is present at all, then you can use the South Pole. But 98% of the time you want to actually use the North Pole. It's like say for instance you had a cut on your finger and there was no infection, infection present at all, then you might want to use the South Pole because it creates faster growth. Uh, but the problem is with using the South Pole, if there's any infection present, it, just, it creates indiscriminate growth, including of microbes and pathogens, viri, and all this other garbage. So when you're using your Spooky 2, pretty much, you know, the North Pole facing down is the right way. And when you're using the compass, the compass needle that is the north needle on the, on the compass is magnetized north and it seeks the North Pole because the North Pole itself is actually magnetized south. So the north pointer on a compass will seek the south magnet and the south pointer on the magnet will seek the north side of the magnet. They had it just the opposite in his book actually. So now the other thing is if you're um, using it on water and you say for instance you had 
um, one of these magnetic pulsers, you want to use the north side. That's per hole to Clark. Now this is a Dr. Clark magnetic pulsar. Um, it's not per hole to Clark. I think it's just a brand name. Uh, but she she always said use the north pulsar when you're magnetizing water. Okay. And I always I put a piece of black tape over this side on the south side uh, so I can actually feel if that's the side I don't want to use. Okay. Pretty much in every case. So, there's a lot of confusion about this deal because even this book has got a screw up on it. I didn't realize it. I'm surprised. But, you know, you know I hate that when you have one error because then you, you don't trust everything else. But, uh, I think that was a misprint in here. So, anyway, uh, use the north side of the magnet. The way the north side of the magnet is determined is that if you string a magnet up, the north side of the magnet will face the north pole because the north pole is actually magnetized south. Okay, if you're using a compass, the pointer on the compass is magnetized north, so it actually points to the south side of another magnet. Okay, because opposites attract. All right, but uh, they're telling you in this book where all their work to use the, neg the negative side or the north side and the negative side is is the north side and the positive side is the south side you want to use the negative side the north side for pretty much everything basically 98 percent of your application so um you know that's what i'm doing okay over and out so you know i mean there's there's exceptions to rule like i said where there's no infection present then you might want to use the south side for indiscriminate growth of everything. But if there's any minor, even slight infection or slight case of possible infection or present and you're trying to heal something, you can cause microbes to grow by using the south side. That's why you don't want to use it. The north side is just healing and regeneration. The south side is fast indiscriminate growth, which can actually be the microbes too. So use the north side, okay? And actually that's, you know, Per this book, anyway, over and out.